Hey everybody, how y'all doing today? It's your main man, A.T. Paul, back again with another great episode. Some facts you don't know. It's going to be a funny one and a silent. It's not funny, but it's funny. It's like, oh, what a terrible situation. But what the, what the? All right, now. Imagine going one-on-one with the invisible man, unloading the whole clip. You know, we got uh, this girl called the police and her boyfriend about the car. You know, we're going to skip over the car. We're going to skip all of that first. You know, they searched the boy, and, you know, he's unarmed, so they put him in the back of the police car, you know what I'm saying? So, shenanigans and high drinks ensued with the officers. Now, you know, we caught this a great moment in stupidity history. Right here. Oh no, yeah, we're doing the giveaway for all the newbies out there. So make sure you leave your comments and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you subscribe if you're new. I'll hit that. Do do what YouTube demands you. You do what YouTube upload demands you. So you know, we're gonna hit that beautiful intro, and then we're gonna hit that beautiful bean footage. Let it ride. So get ready, this is going to be disturbing footage. It's, it's just, this should be a crime against humanity. What? What? Oh, wait, right there? Who are you shooting? Who are they shooting? I don't know, my legs went numb for a second. I heard a pop come from, well, this one. Can you move? Yeah. We hold our officers to a very high standard of service. <laughs> And this particular time, we let the public down. Oakland <laughs> County Sheriff Eric Bain in this video posted to social media speaking on the incident of November 12th, 2023. While on a call with a suspect in the back seat, then Okaloosa County Deputy Jesse Hernandez reportedly claimed it was this noise that he thought was the detained suspect shooting at him. Shut up! Oh, really? They were shooting at the invisible man. And Okaloosa County Sheriff's Sergeant Beth Roberts, who was on the scene, both shot into the patrol car. The detained person in the back seat was reportedly not physically injured. Officials say he was fully searched before he was put into the patrol car and after the incident, but he was found to be unarmed. The noise was reported to be an acorn. Hernandez <laughs> was just weeks later. We have an obligation to our staff to try and train them the best we can so that they can go home unharmed to their families. Wait, whoa, 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 An acorn? Your boy just went trigger happy for an acorn. <laughs> this is a crime against humanity. This is stupidity to the fullest. Just as important of an obligation to our public, even if they're being investigated for a felony crime, we have that same obligation to protect them. In a recently released 44-page report of an internal investigation, it states Hernandez used excessive force. But for Roberts... Jesse, how are you? Okay. The report stated her response was in an effort to save Hernandez's life and that her response was reasonable. Sheriff Aiden offered his apologies to the man who was in the patrol car. We are so grateful and prayful and thankful that, that, that he was not injured. In Okaloosa County, Claire Jones, News Channel 7. Okay. Are you sick and tired of buying your child toys? So. Mm, 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 mm. You hear that, people? <sighs> Shaking my head.